Hey guys, it's uh, December 7th um, on a Saturday. Use the left lane to take the I-91 ramp, then merge onto I-91 North. And we are headed off <clears throat> to an estate sale in Wilbraham, Mass. And uh, hopefully uh, these guys always let me um, videotape in the past, so... Hopefully uh, we have no problems with it today and uh, I'll show you what's going on. All right, we'll see you there. a cold one. They said there's a Cadillac, Cadillac DeVille for sale today and I see it. Soft top. Ooh. Chili one. <sighs> Leave sucker upper. Sorry if it's dark in here, guys.
Look at this guy. Mark the American saw. Can I see my just for a second? Yeah, thank you. Sorry about that. Oh, that's quite all right. Picture, isn't it? That's a beautiful picture. Yeah. Um, can I ask you a question? You know what is it? Bye, John. Bye, Daphne. I spent some money. Good. Bye. Daphne, next week the house is twice as much as this. The next one. Seriously.
computer. Hey guys, uh, there was a lot of stuff at that first estate sale, but uh, it was a, there wasn't a lot of quality there. It was uh, pretty much a, uh, I want to say a hoarder house. Um, obviously, they were getting rid of a lot of a lot of stuff um, was thrown away, and down the basement you saw what it looked like. Hopefully, down there, but we are on our way to another another estate sale that's only nine minutes away so uh, I don't know these this company so I don't know if I'll be able to um, videotape in there but I'll definitely show you if I have any finds and the finds I did get from this first estate sale all right we'll get back to you
Oh my goodness, Jay. What's that? I like this little pot. Oh, where's it? I don't know if that's it work. This is so crazy here. Prices here are crazy high. Oh my god. Museum prices. Paper mate pen set for 10 bucks. It's paper mate. and collectibles third edition and that's probably why I'm afraid to go in the main house there was one um, stopper that I collect stoppers and uh, they wanted $15 for it they're talking about. Oops. Yeah, I guess it. Good, thanks. Oh, excuse me.
was good news. We heard that the prices are retail and that don't go by them. So. We don't need blank. Oh my God. We don't need blank. Yeah, I know. I need them live. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's on golf, too. Pretty cool rooster. Oh, boy. Yeah, Ron was a golfer. Yeah. There's the wind. Oh, boy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's Tibbs, Purple Newbie Juice here. We just spent like three hours, three and a half hours today doing some um, estate sales. And at the first one I went to, there wasn't a hell of a lot. I dug this out of their basement. Um, they had to have been hoarders. It's not in the greatest shape. There's a tear right here. Um, but it is a vintage um military jacket this r scott guy used to be a boy scout he ripped off the tag that was originally on there and put his name there and you can see in the back here uh, you can see in the back here that he wrote his name ain't crossing out W A Cruiser. It's got a number on there. I'm not. I was never in the military, so I'm not exactly sure what that stands for. There's a tag here. Just basically telling you what uh what it's made out of. But, I mean, it's a heavy, pretty good, solid, heavy coat. And, uh, you know, there's a little bit of damage on it. Wear and tear, but for military people, I think that's something that they might, uh, somebody might want it, like it. I got this and two Boy Scout shirts for 10 bucks. Um, there's a little bit of dirt on here for my rug. This is, uh, I know this was his, um, that Mr. Scott's uh, Boy Scout shirt. He moved from um, Groton, Connecticut up to uh, Springfield, Mass. Apparently his parents did. Um, I don't know what these patches mean, but it says Boy Scouts of America. And it has some kind of cool patches here. Pioneer Valley Council. Must have been their, um, their troop number. And then there was another one here that says recruiter on it. This is a lot smaller, but I would only say by maybe five years, if that. And that's where it says Groton, Connecticut. And it says uh, Boy Scouts of America, official, uh, official shirt, 1973 Nation National Scout Jamboree, Boy Scouts of America. Anyways, um, for the three, for the three items, I paid ten dollars. Um, the ta the uh, state sale was nothing, you know, there was a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot, a lot of items, but nothing of real quality. I mean, it, this, all that stuff was already gone. <clears throat> At another estate sale, I picked up this uh, Boston Red Sox, um, a New England obsession. And it shows from um, their uniforms from 1903. All the way up to 
1999. So it's actually 10 years behind. Uh, it's got the official sticker on the bottom. Which is kind of cool. But I thought it was a neat mug. I don't collect mugs or anything, but I do love the Red Sox. So, basically, uh, this was free. <laughs> My daughter was looking for a, uh, a meat tenderizer. So, basically, with the painting I bought, I these guys, they, they were nice enough to throw these two items in. But this is a painting by um, Catherine Melton. And um, she has sold um, art at auction in a, uh, a fine museum of art. I'm not sure where exactly where it was, but uh, I did research it. And this is a uh, oil on canvas. Um, obviously the ocean scene with the lighthouse. And uh, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I think it was well done. It's well framed. Um, the canvas is darker on the back. I would imagine this is probably done anywhere from the uh, late 50s, early 60s to probably maybe maybe the 80s the latest um, because like I said the canvas on the back is a lot darker than um, it it should it should be if it was more modern and that's something I learned through uh, time but the detail on this is pretty amazing for oil I've never dabbled in oil paints um, they kind of scare me because it takes a long time for them to uh, dry apparently but uh she did a really really nice job um and this painting originally was marked sixty dollars um i picked it up for 30 but they had some pretty ridiculous oh, i shouldn't call them ridiculous because i don't know the value of a lot of things but they were all retail um price marked the price points that they had and they uh, said don't pay attention to those so anyways, all in all, I think it was a, a good day. Um, I probably should, I don't know if I'm going to hang on to this or try selling it or not. I really, really love the painting. Um, I have plenty of stuff to take my, take, get me through um, uh, Brimfield, the Brimfield Fair for this May. I may or may not bring it. Um, We'll have to see. But anyways, thanks again. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, you know, hit that uh, notification bell, subscribe, and, uh, you know, we'll by chance bump into something again that I might put out. But thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.